guys, it's Olympia and welcome to another video and I just wanted to upload this one because I'm just reacting to like this quest. I'm already halfway through it and it's got some really interesting points and I wanted to talk about them. So I'm going to just like go through it how I would react to like normal quests, I suppose. <laughs> so I'm about halfway through. I've done like the jumping challenge and I've done the pole challenge. The bending poles I sucked at. Honestly, it was so embarrassing. <laughs> I'd crash into the poles every single time. It was not very, like, <laughs> you would not believe I've been playing Star Stable for three years. Anyway, um, so I got to this point. So, trotting around with their holier than thou attitudes. This is about riding clubs, by the way. Oh, our riding club is the best. We're like family. Ugh, makes me sick. This island is missing a real riding club, a place where anyone can prove their worth, ride together, and die together, if only. Whatever, that's beside the point. The Ovik is a dark place, but everyone would rather pretend it's not. Always keep up their little lies, staying in their fantasy bubble, shunning anyone who thinks otherwise. So how about we give them a wake-up call, stick it to their fakeness, give them a taste of reality. I'm not telling you to sabotage the festival. In fact, I'm not telling you to do anything. But instead, I ask you, are you going to sit there and wait stand for this fake show of happiness? Or will you make a statement so bold they won't know what hit them? All you have to do is say the word, or you can pretend this conversation never happened and you can run along back to your friends. I like Sabine because I feel like she's an interestingly complex character. In that like little bit alone, you can tell that she's passionate about not being fake happy. And as someone that like, I don't get a lot of social, socialising is hard for me because I don't understand like social nuances. And like things like that so if someone's putting on a facade i feel it so strongly that it's like really hard for me to not notice and then take away from it so the orbit sometimes feels like that where everybody's like always happy to help you it's always like yeah i think i'd drop kick someone at some point in the orbit at some point if they kept coming up to me going i have a horse can i do this that and the other i don't know great i had a feeling you weren't totally indoctrinated by these soul riders yet are you ready to t make a statement? Hit me. Here's the situation. No one is going, no one is watching the pigs at Sunfield Farm and the gate to their pen is awfully flimsy. It would be so easy for someone just to walk by and flip that latch open to let them out. But the gate is there and the pigs are just asking to be let free. It would be a shame not to let them join in with the festival activities, wouldn't it? Does that mean I have to go do it? I am totally up for some pig es 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 escapades, escapades. Words, you know. So I'm totally up for some pig escapades. I want to. I want to join the dark riders. <laughs> Sabine is right. The skate is really quite flimsy. Opening it would cause trouble for a lot of people. But on the other hand, it does look kind of fun. Should I let myself be swayed by her? I well, certainly had a point about the attitude around her. Uh, absolutely. She's supposed to be evil, yet her words spoke the truth. Either way, it's my own choice. Let's, I'll open the gate. <laughs> it looks fun. Okay. Yeah, stand by the evidence, okay? <laughs> it's not going to do anything to the Ark, is it? Because we have to be good. So, all it's going to do is be like, oh my god, Olympia is just like a little bit rebellious. This is a very long type of sequence. The pigs ran away. What a mess. Um, Yeah, you caused it? <laughs> I caused it. She does actually make a good point though, Sabine. I like Sabine, okay? I... Don't know, I don't know. I want to join the Dark Riders now. They seem more fun. I want to play on the side of the bad people for once. Can you imagine? <gasps> can you imagine, right, if it was actually flipped? Okay, this is this is going to be a theory and a half. But can you imagine if the Riders of Aedina are actually the evil ones and this whole charade is because they need to have Garnet not happen because otherwise um, their happiness and their fakeness will go away and they won't be able to... Yeah, I don't really know where I was going with that, but... Can you imagine if the uh, Soul Riders were the uh, evil ones? <laughs> I mean, the Dark Riders imprisoned Anne in Pandoria and she could have died. So, you know, I think they're more evil, but, you know, it would it's a fun theory to think about. So you're back. Interesting. Seriously, I'm surprised you didn't just make a run for it. No, sounds way too much fun. Did you actually do it then? Yes. Shocker, all that Aideen horse manure didn't go to your head, clearly. It's refreshing to have someone else around here that sees the world as I do. Okay, that's just about all the time I have for these games. It's time I got back to the other riders so I can continue to teach them a thing or two about real equestrianism. Huh? Why are you still here? What about that race? Oh yeah, she promised a race. Bye, I don't want to race you anyway. 
You promised a way a race. Aren't you a woman of your word? Yes, I am. So be it. I promise you a race. You'll get a race. You and Adora will regret going up against me and Khan. I feel like it's ironic that I'm going up against her with Adora. Adora just has such a hero complex, you know? Have it your way. We ride from here around the walled city of Jarlheim and back again. No games or tricks and definitely no interference from your friends. This isn't a race though. You know that, right? There's no way in the darkest depths of Pandora that you'd ever catch up to me. Consider this a chase. Try and stick close enough to us that you might pick up a thing or two. Isn't that right, my fiery steed? You know you don't stand a chance, right? It'll just be fun to drag you along and see how much you can handle. I have... Oh, I have Max Yorkshire which is going. Okay, we pause this video for a quick shopping spree. These actually look really cute. I might buy one. I might get one in brown because I wear brown tag more. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Remember, the overwhelming difference between you and I is that I was born into this. You stumbled into this world by chance. On my mark, we ride. Uh, hello, I'm doing it for 500 horse XP. <laughs> yes. Also, a really cool jacket. Oh, <gasps> that looks so cool. Okay. I'm ready for this. Adora, you've got this. You haven't got this. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I'm riding a really slow horse, so um, Sabine, you may be right about the fact that it's not a race, it's a chase, because I genuinely have a, such a slow horse. Where are we even going? <laughs> Sabine, where are we going? I'm glad she was like, it's not a race, it's a chase, because this has taken off the pressure, you know? Sabine is such a fun character, I think. Yes. No interferences at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, sure. But Sabine is such a fun character to like, I reckon she's a really fun character to write. Like, I, I don't know if anybody knows this. I don't know if I've actually talked about this. But I write stories in my free time. Um, quite a lot of free sto like stories. I've written like a whole book over the holidays because I was just so inspired. Also something called Hyper Focus, which is pretty helpful when trying to write books. But yeah, so I write books in my free time. And Sabine is definitely the sort of character I enjoy writing. Is like the complicated got a lot of potential so she's evil but the reasons why she's evil are very complicated and not like just as clear cut as they seem and like the complicated characters I like writing those characters and she seems like a complicated character I'm surprised you managed to keep up with me more or less anyway take this I dare you to wear it in front of your friends I'll take you up on that why are you still here okay I'm gonna wear it it looks cool okay I'm not even kidding what happened about the pigs? We just kind of let them out and just never talked about it again. You were gone so long. We were worried. We were, I was going to rush in and zap her. Alex is over-exaggerating. We knew you could handle Sabine. So what happened? What did you learn? Trying me to riding Tess. We rode together. I had fun, actually. It was awful. Sabine is a bully. I had fun, actually. Olympia, don't <laughs> tell us you're falling for Sabine's flattery. Um... No? I want to I wanna join the Dark Riders. <laughs> I know she seems cool and all, but she has a villainous side, remember? Then again, they didn't look like that when they were having a terrible time. They're probably falling for Sabine's flattery and manipulation. Whether or not she's doing something truly wicked, who knows? Well, she's not here to do any good. Why do you think she's here? She's gathering people, organising for something. Even mean girls want people to train with. Uh, she's gathering people. Probably finding her next victims or puppets to manipulate. I don't like this at all. I'm getting so many bad vibes. Only time will tell if these riders are under her spell. Okay. Is that it? Is that everything? Or is there another? I think that's it. That's a bit sad. I swear there was like um, a quest with 1000 horse XP or is that just me being stupid? I'm gonna do this. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Excuse me, I could do this every day if you gave me a thousand horse XP. No, but seriously, um, Sabina's like the sort of character that I like. She's complicated. And I know a lot of people like didn't like the fact that she got her design changed. Like they've changed her again from like she was a really preppy, I suppose, rider, and now she's more like a biker girl. <laughs> don't know how to describe it. I kind of like it. I didn't really know get to know her that much before she changed, so I don't think I had any strong opinions in, on it either way. But I like her complicated character. She's got some opinions that I actually kind of agree with like Jorvik does seem like it's very fake happy but I want to know what she's thinking about it because that could go in two different ways you know because she could be genuinely thinking like she's doing the right thing or she could just be doing it for the sake of being evil either way it could be 
true like either thing could be true you know and i think she's more doing it just to be evil because i think that's you know it's a kid's game okay you can't trust kids to understand these things <laughs> totally that's sarcasm by the way i know my tone never comes across as anything but i have a really monotone voice okay <laughs> she's i hope it's i would like it because she thinks she's doing the right thing or like she's doing something because she's passionate about it but i pretty sure she's just doing it because she's evil because that's is this is stuff still stuff stable okay but you know it's a very interesting character and i'm happy that we got to know her also her horse looks really cool so also adora's nearly finished training i'm gonna switch out my top again because i kind of need to have a matching outfit you know i have a video i made a video like all my outfits i don't know if anybody wants to see that but if you do then i suppose i have that anyway Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, lmp.peacechild. Follow my Twitch, lmp.peacechild. And I shall see you in another video. Bye!